So, I don't have any mic on. So, welcome. This is Veteran, and uh, this is uh, No Man's Sky, and uh, I am loading the survival game, and uh, I played that yesterday as well, and uh, it is a little bit more slow-paced gameplay, but uh, it's quite challenging, and it's. Uh, quite interesting so that is where we are going to explore the galaxy from and uh, yeah let's see where we end up today So, as usual, I start on the flight deck. Uh, I had a ship that I kept as an A class shuttle. And uh, I've actually been working on repairing it, and, and it has uh, gone quite okay. Uh, some things I still need more paraffinium, uh, some more magnetized ferrite. I can actually make that myself. So that is just making some of this into. Pure ferrite, and then take it from there. So um, that's at least one thing we can start working on and uh, get that further. And then the other things we might find as we are out and about. Hmm. Not smart pouring coffee on yourself. So the thing is. I could do like normally you would do uh, buy ships on the trot and uh, but sometimes I like getting the distressed one you find and uh, actually use them for a little bit of um, addition to your fleet. And worst case if I ever should need money uh, I can actually just scrap them. So that that's always a possibility, and when they're repaired, you get more out of them. So they they would be more uh, money coming in for scrapping a, a full ship rather than a broken one. So this takes a little bit of time, but uh, actually move them over and start while that is running and uh, doing some of them. pick up somewhere. So I put that on the freighter. That one I choke over on the freighter as well. 
I might sometimes have to go back and forth uh, to the freighter to pick up certain things, but uh, at least it's moving the right way, so that's actually good. I do like to get them repaired. Um, when I can do that, it is uh, always great. No, I'm not flying off. I'm just uh, making sure this is my preferred ship and I am on the left side of the transporter pad. So, do we have any fuel? Not much. Can't make any now. So I will have to do like yesterday. I will pick up those who have returned. And uh, then later, when I have uh, dihydrogen and tritium, we'll make some more fuel. of them is not bad so these I by mistake put them on the freighter they should have been on the starship so I kind of have a full starship that is uh, not Holy great, but uh, that will actually do. them here and uh, just in case uh, and the thing is I will build further things on the freighter as we go <coughs> actually these I will put in my exosuit because they need to be sold as well so I have one storage slot for the freighter as well. I will go and add that as, as, as uh, it's a free slot, so that might be beneficial as well. can actually jump off to where we ended last time. And continue from there. Okay, I have 
have one with killing animals that uh, can happen whenever we... Was that the one I talked to or... Yeah, it was. Just uh, check some of the things I have for sale. Uh, I rather want to have. They are plus so let's show them. I have to have a storage augmentation for the ship as well. It's a very nice long nosed fighter. But only a sea one, so that's not really useful. So I'd rather put them on as um, I get them because um, every little helps at this point. So actually I'm going back up here because uh, I used quite a number of uh, charge yesterday so let's uh, just go and fill them up as well. them and two of them. could buy more but um, the thing is I don't really want to to sit with too many in stock at at the same time So, the thing is, I do want to have that slot in my exosuit on each occasion I can. Because the quicker I can get them all, the better it is, especially with the limitations on storage. That's one of the things that uh, really has hit me. Ish. It's actually been the, the worst challenge on, on survival, that is kind of the lack of space, so, hmm. well, not the lack of space, but the lack of capacity in each space. That has really... caused me a little bit of pain. Have I gotten any further milestones since I was here late last? Well, I have one at least. That's good. It's always good to get free nanites. Mm. 
So I might or might not have been in here. Uh, it seems like I haven't, so that's good. So down there is 200, up there is 125. So I will try to get them down in the bottom uh, as free ones where I can. I'm not using nanites in here at the moment. Uh, I rather want to look at upgrade modules at uh, space stations because that uh, is more beneficial at this point. to do <laughs> it's quite a difficult one actually to find out which one is the right one to jump to uh, yeah, I, will, I do want to sell some of my trade goods, but uh, also I want to find good planets. So... Yeah, not like that one. Aggressive Sentinels is not really something I can use at this point. Um, I don't feel I'm strong enough to do that on a frequent basis. Uh, station you can buy one slot until you fill it up and now I will actually see what's here and uh, I have some to sell as well they just take space up that's another movement module module. I think they might be useful. I could be wrong. So. so I will have to just check the new one on the supercharged. 41 so that is not as good as this one 32 33 32 hmm they are actually the same so what might be better to have them next to each other 
I need to move some of these things around. Uh, actually, if I do this now. This is uh, a little bit stupid, but uh, because I have one of these, I'm going to put there. So, two hundred nine, seventeen, sixteen. So I'm checking what there is for the ship. Cyclone face beam, I don't use any of them, so I'm not looking at uh, any tool upgrades at this point because uh, that would be a waste. not a bad thing because we need going to need money I don't have so I can get in there so that is uh, kind of Wasteful just to go there. It's a fighter, a fighter, and uh, one which blew off. And I'm going to go in and take the nanites in here. Always check the wall and see if there is anything on it. Like there, might all be helpful while you are going around. standing yesterday so uh, yeah to get standing until you kind of reach the level. Ugh. 
is a little bit tricky because uh, I I normally did it in normal save because I had it in stock but uh, when I don't have it in stock I don't really want to uh, give away what I have because I might need it so it, it, it's one of these a little bit tricky ones gift but uh, do need it for certain things so might be worth uh, just stocking them up so I'm going to take a look at the planets um, I'm not going to do any trade because I am very full at the moment so really don't want to end up and not being able to do anything because of a full ship. So what I think I will do is Take another jump. Let's see if I can find something better. Good technological system. Parfinium, so that is absolutely a place to go back to. And I actually forgot the anomaly in the last system, but uh, I'll probably survive that. a place where I can build a proper base. I haven't seen one single paradise planet yet so um, hopefully I will. Otherwise it's gonna going to be a very long journey. Two ten six sixteen sixteen. So that one I got 
and the last one is actually the worst one. looking at least so, yeah, I have one to sell so cautious on starship shield I don't have enough okay so we need to earn some nanites hmm well well that is something we can and will do I thought I had plenty, but uh, you spend them very quickly, so... hands over but it's again broken I'm actually going to take it for one simple reason Where did I get all these? Touch of silence is my... When did I get any orders? I do not recall I ever got that, but uh, that is a little bit weird. But I kind of must have. Just find that out. What do I actually have? So, swap mode is a waveform accuser. be the problem uh, sometimes playing uh, once a week uh, this is a B broken so I'm 
good thing is you can actually um, always rename it so you can find out oh wrong one uh, find out what the different things are that one I don't remember at all So, yeah, well, uh, now I have to remember to go back and get my normal one. Because otherwise, I suddenly try to kill something with a broken gun. That is not helpful. Living creatures, okay. That means I have to make some pellets and uh, feed them. That's kind of okay. do that on any planet that would uh, kind of be nice and I need carbon for that hmm which I don't have much of well of things to do here. Just the frozen one, that was not what I needed. That one could be useful. I don't know what reeking uh, means in this matter, so it might be a very marshy one with a lot of smell. Harsh sentinels. Oh, I could do without that, but uh,
to make those pellets. 60. So I need some more. Batch, which is twenty five. Try to get as much as I can before sentinels arrive. Because they would uh, prevent from a lot of things. So. so it's better actually just. Uh, grinding as much as you can while you can carbon for a lot of other things as well so um, it is uh, very important to get everything you need and preferably in some sort of surplus Else, um, I was trying 
going to get those I need. Those long legged ones, I think they actually give more than one egg. Not sure, but uh, Took the milk anyway. Get two eggs from these. Oh, that should be that. Picking up the dung as well, but uh, can be useful at some point. So I needed some. Uh, Is it fine to move by foot? Soggy danger, whatever that means. I don't know. See, there's another thing I need carbon for. takes that uh, change in scenery and they start popping up uh, and being nasty then it's not so funny anymore. There's some sort of buildings down there. Oh, that's something else. It looks like a depot so... Uh, Actually, staying away from it. Just going to pick this up.
Töten sich hier. Ähm. That, uh, I'm not calling this ship as much as I would in my normal game, but the thing is, I don't really want to waste too much fuel if I don't have to. Of course, on planets where the environment is absolutely horrible, that's one thing. But if the uh, environment is fine and I don't have any major issues, then uh, just stick with it and uh, walk around. Feel my jetpack has become much better, so that is another great thing. was a uh, very lucky escape, I think. That was a very lucky escape. These traders is not really useful. Something which could be much more interesting into the game and uh, actually uh, add much more to it than they do. They, they just come with some useless knickknacks and uh, I think it could be much better. and that's uh, one thing I have to think about if I should just uh, pop back to the freighter and uh, see if I can make some fuel for the frigates I would like to actually send them out So, 
that means I can send some out at least. Uh, so, and of course I need much more. It really takes a lot of dihydrogen and tritium to to create the fuel, but you kind of need to do it. tedious I'm running back to the freighter but uh, I also want to have those uh, incomes uh, which they provide me with so to trade three trade and a voyage of discovery so that one I can actually send out Tons. So if I take a short one, one, two, three, four, five. Send that out as well. So I don't have a discovery one. It actually became five star. So that is uh, better than I anticipated. So yeah, still need more. Uh, fuel, but uh, that will come. So, before I run off, just double check if there's anything else I have to put on the freighter that one can go over for now. I'm not moving over. There I am on the starship. It's a little bit of tritium, but not much. Okay. That's a, that's a start at least.
up to the roll. With juice. Ah, that was stupid. Suit. I think that's the only slot we have at the moment, yeah. And I got that for feeding animals. Hmm. I know someone would say to me, well, now you fed them, why didn't you kill them? No, I don't do that. Don't, uh, kind of don't do that lightly. Um, I, I, I feel this morally wrong, but uh, I know it's just a game and all that, but uh, I kind of prefer to uh, keep that part. going to fight with them because when I start shooting back they I get the sentinels on me and I'm not fighting them either so I was thinking. Oh well. Sometimes you encounter ships that think an asteroid belt is theirs. Theirs alone. And uh, they will try to provoke you to. actually fight. I don't know if it was on purpose or I by mistake hit them, I am not sure. Oh, I 
keep forgetting um, the anomaly now. Ah, that's actually a little bit. Uh, times. That's actually quite a lot. I'm running low on their knives, I'm not actually actively trying to, to upgrade anything at the moment. Uh, when I start to have a kind of lump sum again, then uh, I will continue where we stopped, so to speak. start talking about bad water. I have not encountered in any of my travels any bad water yet, but uh, I might at some point. Jesus, there's nothing syllable that is really crap. I don't earn any money. Which means everything is going very slowly. Well, not slowly, slowly, but money wise. I like those spiders, though, but uh, that's not for us to. Coax this. Oh, that's a traveler. I take him. Actually, just told me where he came from um, and wanted me to go there. So I don't know. 
can unfortunately only deal with one at a time, but uh, see if he's still here when I come back. of good words to take but uh, never mind that I will have to deal with it's more a me problem than anything else oh on pirates I will do that for that and one I can't get yet but I might do both, but uh, take one at a time. I want to see, because the problem is if you do both, you don't know what you're getting. And uh, if you're getting them in t two times three waves, might actually uh, be a little bit harsh on you. Oh, so, before I um, fly out, I'm going to take a very short bathroom break. It will only take a couple of minutes, uh, so stay with me. So back again, sorry for that. Sometimes you just have to run. Ah, I didn't have to run, but... So, I'm going for the grave first. So, it can be good, it can be bad. Quite warm, so, need to make sure we have, oh, I don't have any iron batteries. I should really get some cobalt and get that, so this might actually be quite a possibility for that.
the good thing is cobalt is on all planets in caves. So if you really need cobalt, find caves. Uh, as I said before, just be careful. There is some nasty buggers in caves. They send toxins out on you and you can really end up losing your perspective what you are actually doing in the caves. Another thing in caves is temperature is actually normally better and you are protected from the environment. So it, it's a oh, oh, wrong thing I got, but never mind that. Sometimes you get more than you ask for. And of course, always scan what there is around. Very dust and dihydrogen. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, So let's focus. Good thing with these is they give you sodium and uh, oxygen. So for quite a while so that is good it's okay for now um, Okay for now. I will eventually get better, but uh, every little helps at this point, so. around me but uh, as long as they 
don't scan me. I think I'm fine. There we go. So now we will go and chase some pirates. Which was uh there. Tyrium and cadmium. Hmm. Actually, I wonder. 
that as well. mixture of tritium and dihydrogen so uh, yeah that's one of those that uh, It's, uh, I use a lot of other things uh, out of those products, so I'd rather not go for that, but uh, for uh, another option. something now I'm here uh, you probably don't want to talk to me anymore uh, but I got a milestone so I will take from this one Sometimes go in and talk to Nada here and uh, it probably won't give you anything but just the occasion he actually will give something. So I'm going to do a little bit of a trick here I'm actually going to take from here to my freighter and just repair the ship because I have repair kits on the freighter and uh, go back to the space station and hand in the mission then maybe see if the other um, the other uh, traveler is still there um, this moment but uh, later it might be well, there's a 
couple of things I absolutely don't need to run around with, so it's kind of better just to make sure that uh, everything is fine. Go. So back to the system I was in. There. Then I have saved some fuel and uh, it's actually quite handsome. I'm going to hand this in and then I'm going to back to the freighter because I am actually going to check if I can to help him <laughs> I moved my uh, refiner so yeah that was very smart because if he can give me a cliff more then I'm very close to actually have reached the uh, The, the glyphs uh, I'm quite happy with the uh, mini GT1 was it 100 or was it 50 I'll make I'll make the modeling too because if I can uh, get uh, one more and I'm very close to have all 16 and then I absolutely don't need the atlas which uh, for any new players I would say do the Ad atlas mission but when you have done it once or twice or three times four times it kind of gets a little bit boring so Five. It was not 50, it was not 100, it was 75. Plutonium is not even in the game, weirdly enough. number that was two okay I thought that was more so I'm going back to the freighter because I'm very curious to see if I get the matter beam that I can get stuff to and from my freighter everywhere That is a very, very big help when you are playing. So, that's one thing I need to, to check out.
antimatter and magnetic resonator. Can I actually make that? Uh, what do I need to make that? A magnetic resonator. Have I even gotten the recipe for that? That is not sure. No, I don't. Ah, oh, dear. So... So, so, so... Okay. That is uh, not the worst problem I have ever encountered. Because... What I do is... Back. The thing is, I have to go to the anomaly again, and uh, do I have enough nanites to actually buy it? That is the big question. I just spent hundred. I have five hundred. That should be enough. So, uh, sorry, I'm running a little bit round here, but uh, I am trying to get the best possible outcome on things and uh, if it works as it does on normal it will really help me out so where is the anomaly it is that way so it's there yeah station that's uh, that's not normal normally I uh, put them pretty much uh, very close and uh, you can fly from one to the other but uh, it is sometimes what you're doing when you call it and uh, yeah One thing I probably could have waited with, but uh, until next time I get in here. But the thing is, now I have researched it, I actually want to be sure that I can make it. So what does it take to make it? 250. Then I actually have most of them, so it's uh, kind of working the right way. One thing I was thinking now I'm here. How many? I have eight of those. So let's uh, spend them as well now we are here. Good evening, Bam. Yeah, I'm okay. I've um, been sniffling a little bit, but uh, other than that, I'm actually 
quite okay. How are you? Magnetizer and eyelash cobalt. That I don't think I have. Well, let's take and check what we have on this ship. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. That is, uh, of course, a possibility. I never really understood why, but uh, for me a base is uh, something with uh, walls, roof, that kind of things. And uh, that is uh, kind of my, I almost said limit, but uh, some of that. So I actually need to go the other way. It's over there, yeah. But I mean again and, and I, I said this so many times you play your game as, as, as you want and uh, if you want to make the perfect base in your mind or in anyone else's mind if, if that's what you do then uh, feel free and i will not uh, dismiss that at some point i might also sit and say, huh, I could actually make this better. I'm just not gotten to that point yet. Um, in this save, I'm just trying to survive and actually find a planet where I can build a base on, uh, which is friendly. I have not found one paradise planet yet, so that is uh, a little bit out in the future. But I might be so um, happy when I finally find one and uh, so I built myself a palace, who knows. But there has been another thing doing that I, I haven't done that. And that is um, that um, I know that you can in each save have a limited amount of um, building blocks, so to speak. So I'm a little bit afraid. Yeah, no, I, that makes sense. That makes sense. But I, I've been a little bit uh, reluctant to, to use too much in one base, for instance, uh, as I am not uh, quite sure how far into the galaxies I will go so that that's one of the things which have, have I think it's small but uh, I, I 
I honestly don't know because it, it, it's like always a lot of rumors. But there was one on on the you know I think it's everything you build uh, is one thing. So if you put down a floor panel, that's one thing. If you put up one wall, it's one thing more. So you have two and so on. But uh, I don't entirely know and. Uh, Was was the last thing I needed? Five antimatter. Five antimatter. I have one. I need more condensated carbon for that. Okay. So, what I believe is that if you make four floor, four floor slabs, and uh, then you would put uh, seven walls and, and a door, and four roof tiles on, that would then be sixteen things. I then don't know if things like a teleport or, or energy or anything counts as well. I do not. And I would say if anyone knows anything about this, uh, please enlighten us, use the chat, um, because... Uh, Yeah, uh, you're, you're absolutely right, that that would be, that would be the ultimate thing. So, now the big question is, does this work as I expected to? That's a good question. But it should. That's a famous last words, isn't it? But you're absolutely right. It would be nice to uh, said that uh, you have X amount of uh, building stones and uh, so far you have spent 20. Oh, well, it just count down from what you have. do that is going to help me so much So I can say a matter beam on your freighter also works in survival. That is really 
going to help me? It looks like exactly the same place I was earlier. Where I found, found cobalt. That is really weird. visited one grave in this uh, system right and it feels like it was here and I went into this cave and found cobalt and that is really weird but on the other hand, I would not have left that there. Unless it grows out quickly. That is good because I need that for repairing my shuttle. Getting curious. It's so rare to find, um, oh, that's so uh, platinum on planet, so. to say go for it I can make it but uh, it takes a lot of gold and silver to do so so I want to see if I could uh, farm some that is uh, a little bit of a better 
option. But I might have run out of luck. Uh, take out because if they start uh, poisoning you well I don't know with you but I always end up in a panicky situation and uh, that is not very good. So no more platinum. just farming a little bit right now I'm in a cave so it's relatively safe and I say relatively because earlier when I was farming cobalt uh, a freaking sentinel came into the cave and uh, was very curious on what I was doing so it's not always Wait forward. But I'm so glad I have gotten the matter beam on my freighter because that is going to be so helpful. Uh, I am really so happy with that. farming cobalt is I use it for iron batteries which is good for protection pretty much everywhere so just in case you wonder why I am standing in a cave shooting things This is a This is a survival game, so it's all about surviving the best possible way you can. Everything is around me. So there is the cave entrance. Uh, I just uh, found platinum um, on some of the cobalt ones, so I actually went to see if there was any more of that now I'm taking a little trip the other way because uh, I need platinum for the repair of uh, a ship but it's always good to have some in stock anyway 
I do know you can actually manufacture it, but uh, still. I'm personally thinking if I can get something for free without a lot of hassle. And it is kind of a win-win scenario. Really have to be careful with those hazardous because as I said they might not kill me but they they start something oh it's gold take that as well even though gold is not the thing I'm needing the most but so Sometimes it's actually a good idea just to look around because you might get the odd one which give you something different. And uh, I actually got around 100 platinum by just uh, going in here the funny part is when I get lost in the caves because that has happened as well So that was decent the um, scan as well. But I think like everything else, which is good, it gets an end. getting in problems with space very good these I put over just in case because the thing is if I die if I die then I lose what I have on me because it's a survival game there's nothing to come back and get so I still have one mission and I don't know if that will work here with anything can I have a distress signal yes I can thirteen minutes okay I 
I think I will send out a distress signal. <laughs> uh, oh, where was it? There. Isn't it weird? When I, on my normal save, was chasing distress beacons and freighters, I got loads of abandoned buildings. Here, I get distress signals. Well, big surprise, but. Uh, It's actually fine, I'm not uh, as such complaining about that. Oh, by the way, there's sentinels here. Okay, I accept that. So I found out, well, I was told that if you are in first person, then uh, you don't have to dig them up. And that actually save fuel on your terrain mod manipulator and uh, time. I'm quite happy with that. So This is a C-class hauler. It's quite valuable. Got a lot of slots. thinking should I keep it or should I scrap it it's one of these what do you really want to do um, as the situation is right now, I know I'm not going to repair it soon because uh, I don't really want to go down that route as, as yet. So, scrapping it is. So, what can I get out of this? Well, maybe quite a bit, but. Uh, Let's see, where is the space station? It's there. Uh, you know what? Out to space. Then it would be the third star to the left.
No, I do want to have a hauler at some point because I find them quite practical, but uh, it has to be a little bit better than a C-Class. Uh, of course, it would be an investment if I started to build it up, but uh, it doesn't have to be now. Six point eight million is roughly a fifth of the value. Okay, but the thing is, there might actually come more of it than that. That was a storage for my ship. That was a hyperdrive module. That's not really useful, but. That is okay-ish. That is actually okay-ish. What starship popped up? The Radiant Pillar. It's always the wrong one. And yeah, I haven't scrapped that yet. Um, I have some uh, kind of attachment to it, I think. See, there's an A class, which is only one million more worth than the one I just scrapped. We're going to see what I can get for that right now. <sighs> I might not want to sell it. No. No. Okay. So. to do the usual thing just uh, go down and swap the ship because uh, I don't want to fly around in this one little battle and uh, I'm in trouble Could ask why do you still have that ship? Well, as I said, I have a uh, attachment to it, so That is absolutely annoying, but uh, then I will have to do something else. Of course, I have to another ship, but uh, that is a broken shuttle, which I'm not going to fly around in here now. Thank you. 
Gaming my ship. So uh, now I'm here. get out of here. It's hot, it's uh, dusty, it's sentinel ridden. And some fool have uh, parked on top of it. Even worse, uh, Jesus. So, Oh, the anomaly is kind of irrelevant. Where are, is it? There. Oh. I don't want to change shift because uh, first of all I have all my trade goods on my normal fighter and uh, I actually do have the feather engines and so on on that so But uh, yeah, I 
don't think I ever seen an S class ship on a freighter, but uh, that might actually be possible. I'm not quite sure how I would uh, show that to people where we are. Uh, well, if it was my freighter, it would, but, well. Yeah, but as I said, I've never seen it. I have seen an A-class uh, once or twice, but it is, it is a, a rare occasion. back here. So sorry for the running around that uh, that was kind of a little bit of uh, well running around. There's two travelers on this planet and they both gave me a clue. So uh, I'm actually quite happy. Now I kind of think it's possible uh, to, to get that. Um, But until I see it, I don't know. That's uh, that's the whole thing. But they do come and uh, trade with your freighter, or whatever they do. System. We might see something interesting here. So I'm a little bit puzzled if it is like in the very old days because then you could get damaged in a black hole. But let's see. Thank you. There are things I don't want to do, and that mission is one of them.
I should say. Many things I will do, but that's not one of them. Uh. Uh, how many do I have? No, I don't have many. So, I'm still just... Uh, Riding the nice for more, for more. Then I find a C-class shovel, of course. Uh. Hello. Long time no see. That's something which uh, takes a lot of time when you're doing it yourself. I had family doing that uh, and uh, it took a very long time because they did everything themselves. I'm quite amazed people actually have that uh, skill set to do it. I think if I tried it would look like the Leaning Tower of Pisa or something like that. I'm absolutely a mobbit with uh, building technologies. I would even say normal DIY is uh, a struggle for me. Luckily, I have a son which has uh, his hands screwed well on, so that is always a good help to get things done so you don't have to pay a fortune to get things. I 
always been very um, envy on people who actually have those skills because they make it look so easy. Okay. Have you designed the house yourself then and, and get the uh, contractor to do the more serious things so or So you have done it uh, proper professional. Oh, that that sounds really nice. sound really cool so you will have an amazing view every day Sounds uh, uh that's a wow factor, isn't it? <laughs> uh, aren't we all? Oh, that sounds really nice. just recently moved to the countryside and I love being out where everything is green around me and uh, not houses no matter where I look so that is uh, that is a real nice thing and uh, That sounds really, really nice. Yes. 
uh, I'll say well done you uh, getting a good placement and a good house that's uh, that's one thing you never really regret because uh, you, you you got everything you wanted ah. oh that's nice That is really nice. I'm getting in with now. But yeah. That really sounds good. Oh well done. And then you don't mind uh, being a little bit busy around it. <laughs> That's uh, yeah. Un unfortunately, I have neighbors, but uh, it's not overly many. So that uh, and they are not that close. And there, there, there is some, but uh, the bit, the best part is uh, the, the closest neighbor we have is the lady selling eggs in the village. So we always get fresh eggs. That is really so nice. Sounds really cool. That uh, that sounds amazing. Alert! Navigational data received. Okay. Come in pairs now. Sounds really nice. Mountains. River. That's uh, that's a lot of things I like. At least uh, nature at hand and uh, nice views and stuff like that. I find it so calming uh, when you look out on the the greens and the colors shifting over 
with the, the seasons as well. It's, uh, it's absolutely great. thinking about making that though. If you don't uh, do it 